Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Alpha Maps, specifically Alpha Map Shadows. I've had some people use some black and white textures for their transparency, but then when they render it out in Mental Ray, the transparency doesn't show up uh, where it's supposed to, and the shadows obviously don't cast through it, so you get this uh, solid black shadow. I'm going to start off by going into Microsoft Paint and just creating a simple black and white texture. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. And I'm just going to call it BNW for black and white. All right, so there's our uh, JPEG, our black and white texture. I'm going to go back into Maya, and let's just create a little scene. I'm going to turn this grid off. I'm going to go to display and click on grid, turn it off. All right, I'm going to create a polygon plane, and I'm just going to scale that out. Go to shaded mode. I went to shaded my by pressing the number five on my keyboard. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a uh, color, a texture to this. So I'm gonna go to Windows. I'm gonna go down to Render, Editors, over to Hypershade. On the left-hand column, I'm gonna click on Lambert. I'm gonna click, double-click on the Lambert in my work area. It opens up the Attribute Editor. In the Attribute Editor, I'm gonna scroll up to where it says Color. I'm going to click on the color and just change it to a green. Now I'm going to middle mouse drag the color from my work area over to our ground plane and it adds it to it. All right, um, I'm going to create another polygon plane. Scale that up a little bigger. I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees in the X. I'm going to open up my channel box and just type in 90 in the rotate X field. Let's see, move this up. Now to get my manipulator back the other way, I'm going to go ahead and just go to modify, freeze transformations. All right, so let's uh, apply our black and white texture to this. I'm going to apply it to the color and to the transparency. That way, uh, I'm applying it to the color. That way we can see where the transparency section should be. So I'm going to go back up to Windows, down to Rendering Editors, over to Hypershade. Again, on the left-hand column, I'm going to click on Lambert. I'm going to double-click on the Lambert to open up the hyper, uh, Attribute Editor. And in the color, where it says Color, the far right, I'm going to click on the button with the checkerboard on it. It opens up this dialog box. I'm going to click on File. Now back in the Attribute Editor, where it says Image Name, the far right, there's a button with a folder on it. I'm going to click that button, and I'm already back to my desktop, and there's the JPEG file we created. Let's see, down here in the work area, let me just kind of clean, move this around a little bit. All right, so now we've got a uh, our texture added to the color. Back over in the attribute editor where it says transparency, again, on the far right, I'm going to click on the button with a checkerboard. I'm going to click on File, back over to the Attribute Editor where it says Image Name, far right, click on the button with the folder, and I'm going to select the same uh, file. So now our black and white texture is in the transparency and it's also plugged into the color. All right, I'm going to middle mouse drag our Lambert uh, that we just created from the work area over to our object. Okay, now we can't see it, so what I'm gonna do is make sure my cursor is in my view panel, and I'm gonna press number six. That allows us to see textures in our view panel. All right, I'm done with the hypershade, so I'm gonna close it out. I need to create a light that we can uh, cast some light through this and cast some shadows on the ground. So up on my shelf, I'm gonna click on the renderings tab, and I'm gonna click on the directional light. I'm gonna press the letter T. It gives me these two handles. One adjusts the light itself, the other one adjusts the direction where the light is pointing. All right, so I just basically want it to be pointing through our, uh, our plane. All right, I'm gonna go to Attribute Editor with the light selected. I'm gonna turn on shadows, use ray trace shadows. I'm gonna turn that on, leave everything default. And I'm going to go ahead and do a render. Before I render it out, I need to go to my render settings, change it to mental ray. Now, if you don't see mental ray in your list, you just need to load it. So go up to Windows, 
down to settings and preferences, over to plugin manager. Uh, this dialog box will appear. Just scroll down until you see Maya to Mental Ray, which is M A Y A T O M R dot M L L. Once you see that, just put a check mark where it says loaded. You can also check mark where it says auto load, and, uh, and hopefully next time when you open up Maya, your Mental Ray will load too. All right, I'm close that out. Um, Mental Ray is selected in my render settings. I'm going to go to the quality tab, and I'm going to go ahead and change my quality to production. So right there at the top where it says quality presets, production. Close it out. Now let's do a render. All right, so we've got some shadows cast, but there's no transparency on our object. And the reason being is because it's just a black and white texture. There's no alpha information in that texture. So what we're going to do is let me go ahead and save that. Close. I'm going to go ahead and go back to our JPEG file we created. I'm going to, I just right clicked and I'm going to select edit with GIMP. I've used uh, GIMP. You can also use uh, one of the most popular ones that people use for editing uh, photos is Photoshop. Um, but for this instance, I'm going to use GIMP. I'm going to go up to, there's our JPEG file. I'm going to go to colors in the menu bar. I'm going to go down to color to alpha. And let's just make sure. Okay, right now the white parts is transparent. I want the black parts to be transparent. So I'm going to click on this uh, button. I'm going to drag over here in the color area, bottom left, to make it black. So now it's black. So let's just test this again. And now the black areas will be transparent, which is what I want. So I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as a PNG file, so .png. Um, if you're using GIMP, you can also go down here at the bottom where it says select file type. You can expand that and you can scroll down in the list and look for PNG. PNG holds alpha information. So does TIFF, T-I-F-F. -F. Those are both good files to use. All right, so PNG, I'm going to click save, save, go ahead and X out of GIMP. And now I've got our black and white that we created and I converted it with some alpha information so you can see through so there's some transparency there. Alright, I'm going to go back into Maya. I'm going to select our object again over here in our attribute editor. I'm going to go to the Lambert 3 tab which is our transparency one that we did. Uh, the color, I don't need to change it. It doesn't matter if there's alpha in there or not so I'm just going to leave it the uh, JPEG. But the transparency one, we need to change that. So I'm going to click on the button to the far right and there's our image name again, our uh, field. I'm going to click on the button with a folder. And on this time, I'm going to select our new file, which is the PNG file. So now when we do a render, it should be transparent because there's some transparency information now. All right, so our light is shining through there. It is transparent. So there's a little bit of white on the edge. And it's probably just because the black's not going all the way uh, on our um, texture. Uh, if you look at the shadow, though, it is transparency, but the places where it's, it's supposed to be transparent, you can still see some shadow there. So we need to do a couple things to uh, fix all that. Let me save that. All right, with your object selected, in the attribute editor, go down to ray trace options, and there's an option called shadow attenuation. Right now, mine's on 0.5. You need to set that all the way to zero. I think older versions of Maya uh, doesn't matter. Uh, not 100% sure on that, but I definitely know on my version of Maya, I need to set that to zero for it to work. Um, as far as the edge showing up on my plane over here, that's just the uh, UV map is all I need to uh, fix that. So I'm just going to select it, go to Create UVs, Planner Mapping, Options Box. Let's see, it's the Z direction is going through my plane, so I need to make sure my planner projection is going through the Z axis. Project. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of scale that out just to make sure the black is going all the way to the edges. Same thing with this way. That way the black is going all the way to the edge. And let's do a re-render and everything should work out fine. And there we go. Our shadow looks good and so does our transparent object. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.